What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Jim and today I'm gonna to be showing a I'm gonna be doing a completely new model. Um I'm actually gonna be doing a recolor. This is gonna be a one video type of thing. I'm just gonna do unbox. I'm not gonna build it or anything. I'm just gonna unbox it, take it off the plates, and repaint it. You've seen this model many times on other people's web videos, so Let's get right to it. The clinch. As you saw on my video on March 28th, I did a quick update where I bought a few items. Like this guy, surface pr primer here, as I, I was running low on this stuff. So I got the bigger, the bigger brother, and this will last forever. I mean, this lasted me one kit, so this is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is, and I also got this guy, if before I forget. But what I plan to do is, I'm going to recolor this guy into like this universe's version of a trainer unit. Uh, I thought of, I was thinking of Macross, and I was just looking at that suit. I'm like, that looks pretty awesome. When I have the equivalent of this, and I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> so let's unbox this really quick. All right, so we got our gray parts here with our salmon, along with polycaps caps and a clear blue part, and we got all of our white parts here. Nothing too fancy along with the rest of the gray inner frame parts and the manual itself. So, I'm put this back. It's from the third season of Age and it's a pretty decent mobile suit. Uh, you can do full reviews on uh, on it by Robert184, Prime92, a couple of others. Uh, Pretty much, this should be a really easy kit to build. Like here's a nice little spreadsheet of how it looks. Uh, I'm probably going to have it in transform mode more than not because it's pretty much, he folds up. But uh, I like how it looks. Um, I'm going to have to get this guy again because I want to just do a straight build of him next time. But yeah, it looks really good. And so, let's get on to the colors. As you can tell, I'm not going to use the original colors. I'm going to use the surf, use this first, of course, on all the colors. And then for these, this color here, the salmon color, I'm going to turn it orange. And I've been very happy with this brand, by the way. I've been I switched over to this and haven't looked back. And after that, I'm gonna use with the uh, inner frame parts. I'm gonna turn it into my favorite dark sea gray. This is a great color. And then for the whites, I'm actually gonna turn them to this guy, desert tan. It's a nice like brownish yellow so it looks it's gonna look great on there and heck I might even try something with this but uh I'm gonna also try to paint all the vents I'm gonna try to keep them all the gray color as you see in the manual but yeah so here's how it looks like before being painted and yes I'm using the manual for this and here it is after being painted uh, hmm. there's actually some parts I might have to go back over but uh 
I like right here. I gotta put some uh, weathering here because, as you can tell, I weathered this kit a bit, uh, trying to make it look more like it got, went through a big fireball and just got really singed up pretty badly. Some parts, others not so much. Uh, yeah, so I thought it looked pretty good. It's also like average wear and tear kind of look. I also did a little interesting where I've actually went inside the vents and painted them first and then painted around with the uh, the orange. So that came out really nice. Uh, as you can tell, he's pretty much done. Minus the little fixes I gotta do with the gun, but other than that, yeah, he's pretty much done. Uh, I really like how this came out and I was trying to go for trainer colors and I kind of got them the way I wanted and I'm like you know what why not weather it as well so here's how it came out alright so this is my one of my final entries to uh, Mosquito Con uh, I'll probably do a video after this explaining which other kits I'm taking, my the other clanch I'm taking. But uh, yeah, so this is Jim. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.